look look at the door handle. It says pull. You're pushing. You you have to pull on the door. Yes. Are we good? You you pulled. Okay, excellent. Next time Yeah, I get just next time read uh read the door. It says P U L L. All right. Okay, so you're inside. We're good. Okay, goodbye. Oh, hi. How are you? I am um, Matt Moore, Director of Technology for Keller Williams Austin Northwest. And this video today is about putting your information about brokerage services and your consumer protection notice on your email signature. I've had a lot of inquiries about that and I decided to create a video because of that. Um, this is a requirement by the Texas Real Estate Commission um, and we need to stay in compliance with them because it's not a good idea so uh, to, to not be in compliance. So this is a um, three-step process. First we need to download the videos not the videos. We need to download the documents and fill them out on your local computer. Then we'll need to find a place to host them on the web. So we'll use Google Drive for that because everybody with a KW account has a Google Drive account. So that's good. We'll share those documents on Google Drive to the public, which is great. The next step is, is we'll go into our Gmail account, aka uh, kw.com account, and add those links from Google Drive as hyperlinks on your email signature. So let's get started with that. With step one, let's download the documents. First thing, I have them hosted here on support.kwaustin.com forward slash trek. You can download both documents. So this is where we download them to our local computer. Most importantly is the information about brokerage services. And here's what we'll do. I will um, create a folder on my desktop to save these guys in. So let's do that now. I will just drop this down as well. New folder. We'll just call this Trek Docs. How about that? Just some place that you can remember that they exist. All right, back to the website here. Let me close this out. Okay, so I'll right click and save as. However you do it, it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC. The It doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, the process is the same. You just need to go ahead and get those on your desktop. Now there is something that you need, need to take note of. You probably should have, uh, download Adobe Reader or some type of PDF reader that allows you to fill in forms. And I'll show you what I mean in just one minute. So here we go in Trek Docs, IABS filled in, right click, we'll save the consumer protection notice as well save okay so they're both in there now we need to open up that information about broker services document and type in our stuff so I will refer to this folder I just created slide over IABS filled in now it's filled in with other information you'll see um, let's see well Keller Williams Realty Gene Grubb and Alice and then you'll need to put your name in here so we'll do that and we need to add our license number in there. Notice this time it opened up in Adobe Acrobat, right? So that's something you need to take note of. If you have trouble filling in the PDF, you probably need to download Adobe. And phone number. There we go. So now we just need to save this document. I'll go File, Save. Save in Trek Docs right here. IUBS filled in. Save. It already exists. Yes, it does. I'm saving over the top of it. If you want to name it uh, because you want to keep the original document, that's fine. I'm just going to write over the top. Save. Great. We'll close that out. Let's verify that we do, in fact, have it. Uh, double click. Scroll down. Information about brokerage services. And there we are with my name. I guess I'd follow the convention and do all caps, but uh, for the purposes of demonstration, this is fine. In fact, lowercase is probably fine too. All right, close that out. So the next step, that was step one. Step two is going to be to upload that to your Google Drive so we can share it to the public. So let's do that now. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and log into Gmail. Doesn't matter where you 
go in the Gmail world, but we'll log right into the Gmail account by typing in your KW account and also your password, right? Here we go, I am in Gmail, and we need to go to Google Drive to get those documents uploaded. So let's do that at the top right corner here. I can click the plus sign and then click Drive. Great, we're here. Now it looks like I've already created a folder called Check Docs from a previous demonstration, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and create a new folder for the documents, just so you can house them and, and keep things organized. In order to do that, I can right click anywhere uh, in the Google um, Drive window and click New Folder. And I'll just call this Trek Docs. Create. And there it is. Now we'll go into this folder by double clicking and we'll see that there's no files in there because we haven't uploaded anything. However, there's several ways that you can get files to Google Drive. One, you can drag and drop directly from the desktop. I'll demonstrate that. And then I'll also demonstrate another way where you can just click the new button up here and upload the files. Let's do drag and drop first. First thing I'll need to do is grab my window and um, you know, minimize it a bit. I can take these documents right here from the desktop and drag them directly into Google Drive. Notice that it's uploading. I'll expand the window and we see that they're there. So that's one way that we can get them in there. Now the other way is clicking the new button. So I'll remove that just to demonstrate the second way that we can upload the files by clicking new and file upload our folder upload would be another way but I've already created the folder so let's do files file upload and I can drag uh, um, both of these documents in here by highlighting them and clicking open and then we'll see that it's uploading both of those items and they should show up in any minute there they are Okay, consumer protection notice and IABS filled in. So we have both of our documents on Google Drive. However, no one can get to them until we share them with the public. So in order to do that, we have to right click each document and click share. So I'm going to share the consumer protection notice. Now, click the advanced right here because we want to do some a few things. One, uh, we need to change it to where more people than just yourself can access because currently the access permission is set to private so I'll click change here and I'm gonna go turn on anyone with the link can access no sign in required that's what we need because the public needs to see it so we'll click save on that document we also need to copy this URL this is the direct URL that we're going to embed in our email signature so when they click on it it'll take them directly to Google Drive so here's what we need to do I need to right click and copy that to my clipboard now it's a good idea to save these links somewhere so we can reference them later so I'm gonna go back to my desktop on the track documents folder that I created and create a new document just to paste this link in new text document here and we'll just call this track links and you'll see if you're not getting it um, while I'm saving these links you'll see in the third step here why so I'm gonna paste this link and I'm gonna name it so I know what it is this is the CPN or consumer protection notice now let's share the other document we'll click done here then I will right click this document the IABS and click share as well advanced change the access permission to anyone with the link and click save next copy this link there we go and this is going to be the IABS okay there we have it we have both of our track links and we can save that there in fact it might be a good idea to go ahead and upload that to Google Drive 2 in the same folder so you can always reference your links if you need to put it somewhere else besides your email signature you'll have them so I'll go ahead and just drag track links into here okay so now we have our document shared with the world here which is good and we kept our Trek links which we're gonna need I'll probably reference the desktop version but anytime you need to have these links for some other website or something like that that you need to publish your IABS and CPN on well you have them now and they're not just isolated to your desktop which is the awesome thing about Google Drive by the way uh, so let's go to our Gmail now and 
put these in our email signature. If I click at the top here, notice all these extra Google Apps. We're in Drive now. Now I can go back to the Mail because this is where we need to be. I'll click that, and at the top right corner we see here Settings. So I'll click that little gear, and then I'll click on Settings again. This is where your email signature resides under the General tab. If you scroll down, looks like I left some demonstration from last time but let's do this fresh here we go let's start typing in the name of the documents that we want to link Texas real estate commission consumer protection notice there's one Texas real estate commission information about brokerage services Okay, so we've got both of our documents. Let me go ahead and um, link them now. So if we highlight it like so and click this link in the chain, we can then reference our links that we created on Google Docs or Google Drive actually and paste them in. So let's do that. I'll click this link here and let's drop down our browser and go back to the folder we created. Oh. Well, it's right here, but let's go ahead and do it. Uh, open up Trek Docs. Here's our Trek links. And we have highlighted the consumer protection notice. So I'll grab that link here that we created and right click, copy. And I'll bring back up my web browser and paste in that link. Here we are. So I'll click OK. And notice we have the all too familiar hyperlink here. Great. OK, so that's one. And we'll drag this one here and do the same thing click the link in the chain now we're going to link information about brokerage services i'm going to drop that down and highlight information about brokerage services right click copy open back up the browser right click paste okay yay now we have both of our links in our email sig and from here what we need to do is go ahead and type in uh, your name at the bottom or whatever your signature may be so remember this needs to look as if it's in the body of your email the the track links here so now I can do the Matthew Moore right and uh, my number and, and email address whatever your signature is even if it's a, a picture or something like that the other thing that we need to do is make sure this box is checked too that says insert the signature before quoted text and replies and remove the dash dash line that precedes it so it what happens is is that it will create this dash to separate your body from your um, signature which is good in most cases except here it's not because this needs to look as if it's in the body so that's one way we can do that without having to link it each time we create an email so now we can scroll down and click save changes okay so let's go ahead and look and see what it, um, your email looks like if you send it to somebody well first of all we see my signature shows up here but I can't click the links really so let's test it out I'll send an email to myself Matt Moore at kw.com. I'm going to say testing track links. How about that? Send. I should receive something in my. Here it is. Testing track links to me. Let's open it up. Now they'll be clickable. This is what people will see. If they have Gmail, they'll see the attachments this way as well. But when I click on each one of these documents, because I shared them with the public, it should pull open in the window. Look, here's the CPN. Great. And then let's test our information about brokerage services. And here it is. Awesome. We have done it. We are awesome. So that's it. We did it. And so we have created a both links in our email signature, which is exactly what we wanted to do for the purpose of awesomeness. So good job. And by the way, words of wisdom, you can do stuff, I promise. Okay, goodbye.